After a few cars got airborne in practice leading up to the 2015 Indianapolis 500, a computer project was launched immediately, cooperatively, between Honda, Chevrolet, and IndyCar to analyze and find solutions. Well, one of the solutions that was devised in this study has now been implemented for 2016 on the super speedways, and those are known as beam wing flaps. The air as the car turns around backwards, when the air catches this, as the car spins, it flips up into position and held in place by this scissor mechanism. Now they showed a lot of promise in the virtual world, so how do you test these in the physical world, especially when you're introducing them at the most important race of the year? So IndyCar took a rear section of a car, a complete section, turned it around backwards, put it into a wind tunnel, so now they could blow the wind this way to test it but they want to do destructive testing. The way you do destructive testing is you want to hit it with air instantaneously at 230 miles an hour. So the way to devise to do this was to take four nylon strings on each side to hold these down and then put them together with an explosive device. So then they could run the wind tunnel up to 230 miles per hour, then explode that charge and pow! and they found that yes, as designed, they flipped and they stayed in position. But most importantly, it also showed what the computer simulations had revealed. Why do these work? When they flip into position, this causes a huge amount of high pressure in this area. And this high pressure packing in here actually produces and pushes down on this beam 500 pounds of downforce when these are deployed. And not only that, there's 650 pounds of drag because this flips into position. 650 pounds of drag slows the car from going backwards. 500 pounds holds the car on the ground. Those are big numbers and should make a significant difference on stability when the cars get around backwards. Oh.